I am headed up to the Dollar Tree armed with two coupons for State Fair corn dogs. I've never had a corn dog in my whole life and I don't eat meat so I'm not gonna eat these but I'm thinking Frugal Daddy would love himself some corn dogs. I think he would. It's October 23rd in New Jersey. It's 70 degrees out, so I'm in shorts and a t-shirt. Very unusual weather for New Jersey. I don't know if you can see behind my head as we drive, if you can see any trees as we go along. They're all green. The leaves aren't changing color yet. This is very, very peculiar. Yet another sign of global warming. But wait, don't the Republicans say global warming doesn't exist? What are we to believe, people? Anyway, um, my understanding is that at Dollar Tree, you can use uh, two coupons for like items. So we are going to try to get two packages of the State Fair, I almost called them State Farm. That's an insurance company. State Fair Corn Dogs. I don't think I could speak of corn dogs without going into my southern accent. And y'all know I lived in Georgia for quite a long time, just because I live in New Jersey now. Don't be thinking I haven't lived in the South. I have. I liked it down there. I will say in the summertime, it was pretty, 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 pretty darn hot. Oh yeah. So before you go out couponing and all, you always want to be making sure you know your store's coupon policies. And I do believe the Dollar Tree has a two coupon type policy. That's what I believe. You can be doing a Google search for your Dollar Tree coupon matches. The only problem is, as we all know, not all the Dollar Trees seem to carry the exact same merchandise. Which is both frustrating and yet, oh so exciting. I'm driving down the main street of my town and I notice that the pedestrians and people sitting around on benches and so forth are kind of giving me a look like there's something Abby Normal about talking to yourself in the car. <gasps> Abby Normal, you remember that from Young Frankenstein? Abby Normal. That's a movie we should all be watching now in preparation for Halloween. Young Frankenstein. It was a Mel Brooks movie. If you're too young to have seen it, well then, God damn it, go to your library and check it out. That is a funny movie from back in the day. Young Frankenstein has all sorts of funny people in it who, who are, some of whom, yeah, aren't alive anymore. No, they are not. Anywho. So a couple nights ago, my little children and I were watching Nightmare Before Christmas because we thought, well, that's a good Halloween movie. Well, I thought it would be. They'd never seen it before. And I'm always going around singing, Halloween, Halloween, though that's really not how the song goes in that movie at all. Uh, it was it was a little scary, actually, for them. I mean, it really isn't a scary movie. It's really cute, but I had to keep kind of saying, well, you know, that's that's Halloween Town. It's not scary. They're nice. They just look scary. I was trying to get them to watch The Great Pumpkin. You know, it's The Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, and they're like, oh yeah, we've seen this. And I'm like, I know you've seen it. We watch it every year. That's part of Halloween. You watch the same damn shows every year. It's the same with the Christmas specials. Don't be telling me at Christmas time you've already seen Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Of course you've seen it. We watch it every year. Those are the traditions and rituals that form the fabric of our childhood. Don't you know? All right, I see Dollar Tree on the horizon. <laughs> and mission accomplished. Do, 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 do. Can you see that? Total 50 cents. Let me show you the coin dogs. It's not a lot, not a lot at all. Look, okay, there you go. I've got two boxes of State Fair corn dogs, and there's two corn dogs in a box. So normally, you are spending a dollar for two corn dogs. That would be 50 cents each. So, let me get the other box. I proved to you I got two. See? I got two boxes of the corn dogs, 75 cent coupon off of each. So that brought each box to 25 cents. So the two boxes were 50 cents, my total of 50 cents therein and therefore I have now gotten 
four corn dogs for 50 cents instead of four corn dogs for two dollars. But doesn't doesn't two corn dogs for a dollar seem like I don't know, that's just too expensive and fancy a corn dog. 50 cents for a corn dog? Mm, I don't think so. But four for 50 cents, I think that's a nice lunch treat for Frugal Daddy, who right now is laying on the sofa taking a nap. He's not feeling well. So, okay, that's my whole point of the day. For all you Dollar Tree people who might like a corn dog, you go to coupons.com. I know, the whole time you've been thinking, what is what is her point? What is the point of this? I'm telling you now. Coupons.com. You can print out your coupon, your 75 cent coupon off the corn dogs. Go yourself to Dollar Tree. Get your two boxes for a quarter each. The coupon is good, I think, for about a month. I think until the third week of November. So you don't have to go today. You don't have to rush out and do this today. you got time. All right, so that's just my frugal, fabulous shopping tip of the day. Just wanted to clue everybody into to that opportunity out there. Cheapo corn dogs at Dollar Tree. Okay. Bye bye.